Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and this is the first in a series of short videos Risk Management 1 versus Risk Management 2. So I thought I'll start with um, the first one in no particular order, Risk Criteria. Now Risk Management 1, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, is having some sort of enterprise-wide risk criteria which goes through you know the consequence the likelihood uh, scale with three or five or four it doesn't actually matter um, but more importantly it goes through consequence and like consequence levels through different dimensions so it has the financial impact the reputational health and safety environmental operational and there may be others depending on your organization usually that risk criteria is linked to the strategic objectives usually this risk criteria is linked to the appetite or risk appetite within the organization um, so the upper level is something that the management would be considering unacceptable and so on that, does that sound familiar uh, i'm sure for most of you it does sound familiar now the good news is all of this is completely artificial has nothing to do with proper risk management and is absolute nonsense. However, because risk management one is for someone else, we can't just completely get rid of it. We can't really get rid of risk criteria, this enterprise-wide risk criteria document or a section in your risk management policy or your risk management framework document. Unfortunately, we can't just throw it away. We still have to pretend like it matters. It doesn't, but we have to pretend. So if you are going to do it, um, make sure it is linked to strategic objectives, make sure it is linked to the risk appetite within the company, make sure it does capture the most important aspects of, uh, uh, of your business. However, uh, realizing it's risk management one, don't waste too much time on doing it. Nobody will care, like literally, no one in the organization will care what you put in level four versus level five versus level three. You're the only person who cares. And maybe an internal auditor will make some sort of uh, smart ass comment when he looks at it once a year. Unlikely, but he may. The alternative, of course, the risk management too, is very different. Realizing that risk management for the decision makers is important at the time of making decisions, you will soon realize that there are actually many different forms of risk management and in fact different decisions deserve a different risk management process and I'll do a separate video on that but they also deserve and require a different risk criteria to analyze what, whether something is an important or not important whether it has significant impact on that strategic objective or it doesn't whether it has significant impact on that decision or it doesn't so in fact in risk management too you would have different risk criteria for different types of decisions. So for example, for strategic planning decisions or investment decisions, it could be deviation from NPV, uh, forecasted cash flow, ex internal rate of return, or literally any other measure that is important. For procurement decisions, there would be a different criteria um, looking at historical vendor performance, asset um, th that you're purchasing, uh, risk level, and, and so on. So in risk management too, you would actually have multiple, I mean, when I was the head of risk of a sovereign fund, we had five, five different risk management processes, five different risk criteria. And uh, uh, that way, you're actually being helpful to the, uh, to the decision makers. Now, this is just a kind of a very quick hint and a very short video to give you a difference between what is risk management one versus, versus what is risk management two the bottom line on risk criteria is that it's naive to think that you can capture the whole complexity of different types of decisions within business into a single enterprise-wide risk criteria so technically speaking there's absolutely no reason to have it at all uh, however we can't throw it away because somebody uh, would would ask us to see what's your you know, likelihood consequence rating scales um, you know rating likelihood and consequences using scales is completely stupid and that's why we don't really do it for the risk management two stuff um, but still you you have to you have to have it if you if you don't have to have it well done you're very lucky throw it away immediately um, but if you do have to have it you know don't take it too seriously it's not a real document that's not how decisions are made within the organization so more videos to come uh, do write underneath these videos 
uh, your comments. The videos are intentionally provocative. Ask questions, challenge me, give me examples, and I'll uh, I'll try and respond to you underneath this video. See you soon.